The working principle of solar panels is truly remarkable. How do they convert solar energy into electrical energy? Is it through the photoelectric effect or the photovoltaic effect? The material for solar panels originates from sand, which must undergo a complex purification process to achieve a purity of 99%. Pure crystalline structures are then reshaped into very thin slices. This constitutes the core of the photovoltaic cell, the silicon wafer. In this two-dimensional animation, the shiny balls represent electrons. It's evident that the electrons within the silicon atoms lack freedom of movement. Pay attention. Here comes the key point. Each silicon atom is surrounded by four electrons. They share their outermost electron, creating a covalent bond. By injecting an atom with five valence electrons, each atom shares its four electrons with neighboring atoms, resulting in a surplus of free electrons. These restless electrons have a natural inclination to fill holes, thereby forming an N-type semiconductor. Conversely, injecting an atom with three valence electrons creates holes, representing positive charges, leading to a P-type semiconductor. When the two semiconductors are brought close together, a potential difference arises at their junction due to the disparity in electron concentrations. Electrons migrate to fill the holes, establishing an internal electric field that halts further electron transfer, creating a dynamic equilibrium zone known as a PN junction. When light irradiates the PN junction, energized electrons move back and forth, generating a stable potential difference between N and P. Connecting two semiconductor light bulbs causes them to emit light. This is how solar panels work. If you found this explanation enlightening, feel free to comment, share, and follow for more fascinating insights into renewable energy and technology.